Hi, this is Pat's Two Cents, Tuesday. I woke up in the twilight sleep and I felt an evil coming into my house. I knew it was of the male gender. So I didn't know if it was human or not, but I knew it was male. And I knew it was evil because the whole house was getting that eerie, evil feeling. And I felt it moving through my house. I literally sensed it moving through my house. And I knew it was coming down the hall, coming to my bedroom door, and it came in. And I'm, oh God, oh God, oh God, please protect me. Don't let this thing hurt me. What is it? What is it? I could see it, but I couldn't see it. Now, if you guys remember the Spider-Man, no hair, no nothing, just all slick from head to toe. And when he jumps up, he lands on all fours, right? Whether it's on the wall or on the ground or on the roof, he lands on all fours. That's the way that bad boy landed on me. When he landed, he jumped up onto the bed. He landed on his, both hands were on my shoulders, pinned down. Both, both legs had my knees pinned down and my legs open. So I'm thinking, I'm getting ready to get raped. I mean, you know, what else are you going to think? I never encountered a demon like this before. I'm crying and I'm fighting. Come, I'm telling him, get off of me, get off of me, get off of me. Now I'm saved. I got Jesus in me filled with the Holy Ghost. But I had no authority. Why? I was fighting spirit with flesh. I'm fighting and fighting and boy, the more I fight, the weaker I get. The more I holler, the weaker I'm able to speak. The more muddled and mumbled until I sounded like a stroke victim. And I laid there realizing the battle was lost. I, I, I lost the battle. There was no way I could overcome this demon. I was petrified. I was intimidated. I was overwhelmed. I was at a loss. And what happens? I'm thinking in my mind, boy, if I wish I had a gun. I need a weapon. This man, this thing is too strong for me. And I hear a small, a still small voice right in between these two these two little flaps on the side of my head, called ears. I hear a voice say, you have Jesus. Now, because I didn't know all about the power of his name, I didn't know the authority he gave us, I didn't know anything. I'm a brand new baby. I, my father wasn't even home from the hospital. I was saved maybe a month and a half. And, and my response, through my ignorance was, well, that's all I have. I need a weapon. And I'm laying there, getting weaker and weaker, thinking I'm about to die. But he ain't hurting me. He's just got me pinned down. Think about it now. So we're just here. He's on me, and I'm thinking I'm dying. And then, ding, a little light goes off in this little you know, two marble brain of mine. And dum diddy dum dum decides to try something that the women did at church. Well, since I have Jesus, can I use Jesus? And I said, this is the way I sounded. I literally said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But because I was so weak, Every time I said it, my faith strengthened, my body strengthened. My faith strengthened, my body strengthened. And so did my speech. So I started out like this. I'm getting stronger here. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Attitudes coming. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Desperation. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I screamed and I pushed him off, felt his way. Boom. Gone. Gone. 
Well, this is a dream or an actual happen? It actually <laughs> happened. I, I was sitting up when it ended. I, oh, wow. It started out as a twilight sleep. Mm -hmm. And I woke up and I was still battling. And I knew it was real. I knew that was a real encounter. And what ended up happening is I sat on my bed. I quoted scripture. I got up, walked through my house, commanded, I commanded that uh, uh, whatever that demon was never to come back to my house again. Like Jesus would say, go and never return. So I did all that. And I came back, sat on the bed, and I cried and asked God to forgive me for not understanding the value of the name of Jesus. Amen. And after I asked God to forgive me, then my next prayer was this. I was just crying my eyes out. I said, God, would you please always put the instinct in me that I didn't have this time. Put an instinct in me. Whether I'm awake, whether I'm asleep, whether I'm in the supernatural, whether I'm dealing with the natural. Would you make sure that any time the name of Jesus can make a difference, you would make that fly out of my mouth. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus, whatever. Whatever I say in the name of Jesus will be automatically flying out of my mouth before my brain has a chance to calculate what's going on. Mm-hmm. And ever since that day, that's exactly what happens. So after five or six years of rebuking demons that had me scared, one day I had a dream. This is what I'm talking about. When God starts to hone in on that gift he's got. He's been teaching my hands to war all those years. When I was warring in fear, finally God took me to another level. And in this level was a dream where this person was guiding me along. And she looked at me with concern. And she said, I can't go with you past this point. And I looked at her and, and I was like, well, and instinctively I knew to turn my back on her and go forward. And as soon as I, I looked up, there was a, a Grecian pillar and two, stall, two tall pillars holding up this Grecian slab. And as I crossed it, I, well, once I woke up, I knew that was a, a significant, a, that signified, significant? yeah, that was, a, that signified a new level of strength, spiritually, a new level of authority. So I go through, I go under the pillar, you know, the thing, and then I'm crossing over the threshold and all of a sudden this demon is jumping on me and look like a young teenage boy. And he's clawing at me and scratching and then some others are coming and they're joining in and ganging up on me. There was no fear. In this dream, my attitude was, get off of me in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. <laughs> they fly back up and disappear, gone. <laughs> I go a little mm. further, I go a little further. Difference in attitude. Before I was crying, oh, God, me. now I'm angry. I'm ticked. Amen. Pissed. Pissed. And I'm 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 annoyed. And this girl starts running next to me. Whoo, whoo. And she's like maybe 16, 17, real cute little girl. And she's running and she's whoo. I'm walking, she's running. She's right next to me, right? So anyway, she's running and she says, Oh boy, they're all over the place, aren't they? And I'm looking at her like, so what did you do? Oh, I did what you did. You did the right thing. And I said, no, what did you do? I did what you did. I know. What did you say? I said what you said. I said, well, say it. Uh, yeah, I said what you, I said, say it. And she wouldn't say it. She was just mumbling around. I said, okay, I, I said, okay, I'll tell you what. If you won't say it, I'll say it to you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. She flies up in the air and disappears. <laughs> I discerned in my spirit. I knew she was a demon in disguise. I knew it. And then as I'm going forward, this is all training. I know it's training. I go forward and two are coming down from above. And I'm like, no, I'm done. I don't 
don't feel like doing this no more. I woke myself up, sat up in the bed, and said, okay, Lord. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm waking up now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Train it's over. over. Class, over. class over. I got the point. Thank you. And when I sat up, I said, Lord, thank you for the new level of boldness. Wow. There was no fear in that dream. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But see, you have to grow to that. You don't do uh, it in leaps and bounds. I, I know your young folks just so impatient with your little microwave fade. Don't happen like that. You got to <laughs> stick it in the exactly. oven. You got to <laughs> stick it in the oven. Who you call it? <laughs> microwave fade. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Y'all can't touch me. Can't touch me. Remember. Remember. Can't, can't touch God's anointed, but God's anointed can touch you. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> you didn't know what I was doing. I was waving Milton's belt, you guys. But anyway. So, um, so that was another training session. And then God started giving me dreams of demons in human form uh, to strengthen my discerning abilities. One time somebody took me on a porch to meet a nice little old man and he had the cutest little smile and he looked so sweet. And as soon as I saw his smile and I looked at him, I said, get away from me. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I turned around and took off out of that man's yard. I knew he was mm. demonic. I knew it. I just knew it, knew it, knew it. Wasn't paranoid, wasn't afraid, just knew it. There, God starts to raise, and that's what you start praying to. That God will raise your discernment levels. That God will diminish your fear. That God would increase your boldness. That God will, I mean, just that God will, will, will strengthen your righteous indignation. That you will not tolerate a demon in your midst. You won't tolerate a demon messing with your person. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Don't you belong here. You ain't nothing but a roach. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. No. No. You say something in my mind, shut up in the name of Jesus. You show up in my house, get out and never return in the name of Jesus. I command Amen. all evil to stay as far away from me as the east is from the west. You have no right. Get out of my face. Mm. 